We're in Belgium, in a factory specializing in dyeing fabrics. Every year, around 12,000 kilometers of textile materials are dyed here. And for that, millions of liters of water are needed. After use, this water is full of colorants, chemicals and salts. How to recycle this polluted water in an efficient and affordable way so it can be reused in the whole dyeing process? European researchers think they've found an answer to this question. Fabrics are weaved here, tested, rolled, shaved, whitened, dyed, dried and stabilized. Water is present in many of those different steps. The factory says it consumes an average of some 350 million litres of water every year. We use some 80 litres of water per kilo of fabric. This water is used to whiten the fabric, then to colour it, and then to fix the colours onto the textile materials so they don't wipe off. At the end, the water is full of colorants, of course, and very acidic. We first neutralize this acidity, and then we discharge our wastewater to the municipal wastewater treatment plant. Treatment of this colored water at municipal facilities is extremely costly. Aware of these economical and environmental challenges, the factory has teamed up with scientists from a European research project. Their aim is to find solutions to recycle water from textile dyeing in efficient, affordable ways. Scientists have designed a test recycling unit. Two different processes are used to clean up the water. A first process, called electrocoagulation, eliminates colorants. A second, called reverse osmosis, contributes to the elimination of salts. First we go to the ultrafiltration membranes. We take all the small particles and all the other things. Then we go to the second ones. This is over there. Uh, the reverse osmosis. There we take out eventually the salt and all the rest of the stuff. At the end of the day, you get this nice color, free water, which is totally clean, nothing in it, also no salts. And if you look at in the beginning, we were started with this, which is the dirty, yeah, dirty water with all colors in it. So this is our end product. This is where we started with. Strict control analysis at each step is used to confirm the efficiency of the different processes. We can say that all chemical pollutants and uh, colors are, uh, like 93% of them are removed, 96%. Hmm. And the, the, the color, color is like uh, nearly 100% removed uh, in this process. Researchers now plan to upscale the existing test unit to a bigger one to be used at the factory, with an eye to creating a closed loop where water is constantly recycled and reused. But if you have a technology in place that enables you to reduce what the intake by 75% or more, already there is a very big relief. Also, you will not discharge to the municipal wastewater anymore, so you will not have any issues with balancing your wastewater with that of other streams coming into the municipal wastewater stream, freeing up capacity there in the municipal setting. Scientists say they hope this technology could also improve the competitiveness of the textile and clothes manufacturing sector in the European Union that employs some 1.6 million people.